Hey y'all, I'm Verna, your financial hype woman. This video was brought to you by Roku, the number one streaming platform in the US. And look, I know it's like month 10,000 of this pandemic. <laughs> Yes. And you're worried about your savings plunging, especially with unemployment benefits running out and there's no stimulus plan in sight. Yes. Newsflash, no one's coming to save our savings, y'all. Dang it. Let's make one thing very clear, okay? Claro. You will not tips and tricks your way out of the fact that you need to earn money to save money, whether that's getting a higher paying job, revving up those side hustles, and or pushing our leaders for better government assistance and equitable pay. Hey. <laughs> That said, if you've got an income stream, we're gonna help you refill and protect your savings. All right, all right, first, we gotta reset. You have to retell your saving story, okay? Pretend that you are the main character of a TV show called Your Life, because P.S. you are. Oh, shit. I personally don't wanna watch a TV show where I don't know what the main character's goal is. Are they trying to win the girl or guy? Are they trying to kill the evil ferret wizard? What? In any show, it's very clear from episode one exactly what the main character is trying to do. Now, I want you to bring that same energy to your savings goals, okay? I don't wanna hear a savings goal that's like, I wanna save money? No. Like any good plot, I wanna know a who, what, where, when, and why. <sighs> I wanna save $8,000 in my Ally High Yield Savings account by March 2021 to give me three months of emergency savings. Cut. Mm, yes, I'd watch that savings show, see? If you were working on an emergency savings, for example, you would map out exactly the dollar amount that you need. You can take what you earned last month and multiply that by exactly how many months of cushion you're looking for. Map out exactly where it's going. Open a totally separate savings account so you never spend your savings money on Instagram temptations and map out exactly when you're gonna hit that savings goal. I really like NerdWallet's online savings calculator. It's free, Google it. Cause you could plug in if I can deposit this much money every month, when exactly will I hit my savings goal? All right, let's say you've got your defined savings goal, okay? You messed around with the savings calculator, you find out you need to deposit $200 in your account every month to hit your savings goal on time. And now you're like, $200 from where? It is time to strip down your spending to make those deposits. It's like if you are the main character in your TV show, right? And there's a dance sequence, but you're wearing too many clothes and you can't move. Dang it! But if you take a look at the way you spent money last month, literally whip out your credit card statements and your bank statements, take a look at them with your eyes, you'll start to see a few things that maybe you can strip. That $20 streaming music subscription, SoundCloud is free. Whoo, yes. That $80 gym membership, what? YouTube and the outdoors free. Okay, 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 okay. Come here, come here. You spent $120 on DoorDash last month, I get it. Tell a friend that your new DoorDash delivery allowance is $60 and then tell them to check in on you in 30 days, okay? Accountability. Ah, free, free. Yes. Now that monthly deposit goal seems a little more realistic, right? It's not a bad feeling. Woo. Okay, you got your savings goal. You are stripping down your spending as much as you can to make those deposits. But if you're like me, it is really hard to save money when your friends and family mm, don't. And the holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. And if you're a child from an immigrant family like myself, we were taught to never talk about money. So to start lecturing your family about saving money now, especially your older family members. And mom's slipper is coming. The slipper is coming. <laughs> Now you gotta do a little bit of what I call parenting up. You, the new generation, can inspire change by setting a good savings example. Being that hero main TV character that they can look to and take tips from quietly, passively, so nobody gets yelled at. You can do this by sharing your savings goals. Dang, I wish I could join you guys for that prime room holiday dinner, but I gotta deposit $200 in my savings this month so I can stay on track with my emergency savings by March. Save me a plate. You can set challenges or limits for a specific event that you know is gonna be expensive. Hey, yo, cousins. Instead of buying 40,000 gifts for the babies like we do every year, how about this year we get together and film a fake TV show for them? Much funner, much cheaper. Could go viral. Or you can talk about the cuts that you've done and how you can maybe help them out. Mom, check it out. You pay like 60 bucks a month for cable and all those channels, right? But all you really watch is the Filipino channel, YouTube, and Netflix, right? But look, I bought this Roku premiere for $39.99 one time. Boom, 
60 bucks a month saved. I get all the stuff I usually watch, chop all the stuff I don't, save hella money. I can help you install it if you want one. All right, you got that main character. Here is your savings script. You're gonna retell your savings story with a very specific savings goal. You're gonna strip down your spending to hit that monthly deposit, and you're gonna parent up with your friends and family to help keep each other accountable. To learn more about Roku and all of their products and good, good, head to roku.com and make sure to follow them here on IG at Roku Player. I'm Berna, your financial hype woman, and honestly, if you were a main character on a TV show, I'd watch it if it were streaming on Roku. Bye. Just two more lines of and calm down. This is probably not sanitary. Boom. Cut. We made it. We survived. I'm gonna go cook some fish sticks. <laughs>